Batman number 35 sets off the Endgame Saga. Now just look at this cover. The Dark Knight himself squaring off against the Justice League? That's an enticing pool party, right? Wrong. The first three pages are dicked from the beginning. And what's with all the thought blocks? Was I supposed to read numbers 1 through 34 to understand the opening of this new arc? Oh wait, I did. Dicked. Writer Scott Snyder does stuff like this and he does it well. But this one, especially with such a big promise, falls flat. Then there's some weird dicking around between Alfred and Bruce. Now I haven't seen Alfred laugh before, but after artist Greg Capullo's rendition, I never want to again. The character stuff is good, but it's not the greatness we're used to in Batman books. The comic hits its stride with the same moment Wonder Woman hits Bruce. Dicked. Before Bruce has time to recover, she whisks him away for a date with Destiny. And at this point, the comic circles back around to the choppy opening with a resounding sigh from the reader. Sometimes, simpler is smarter. Once the Batman vs. Justice League fight is underway, the story and artwork become super rich. It's fun to watch, and we get to learn how much money it takes to stop the fastest man alive. Capullo's art really saves the book, with fun background details telling the story almost as well as the dialogue. So don't write this series off just yet. I'm giving this book a one on the dick side. It's not as bad as five dicks, but this creative team could have gotten pretty rich if they put a little more effort into it. And there's a typo. This isn't Amateur Hour, this is DC, and one of the few good books left. Don't slay one of the only comics people still religiously read. Just don't do it. I'm coming back next week to give Batman number 36 a good dicking, and I expect it to reach the richer side of the Richter scale. Let us know in the comments what you thought about Batman 35. Also, hit subscribe and come back next week for more dicks.